Hi everyone, um, my name is Regina Walton and I am part of the marketing and community team here at Creative Live. We are checking in with um, Duct Tape Marketing, a few students from that course, and with us now we've got the instructor John Jans and student Ryan Parr who's based in New York and you can take it from here John. Hey Ryan, uh, great to see you. Great to uh, everybody that's tuning in. And I guess I need to correct Regina, don't I? It's not New York. You're in Brooklyn, right? I mean, uh, no, I'm actually I'm I'm in New York. I'm, in <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know Brooklyn guys get you know real upset about that uh, designation, <laughs> but that's right. You're down. You're you're in Manhattan. That's right. I am. I am. So, so you have a really cool business. In fact, I uh, am the proud owner of one of your products. I wonder if you'd uh, start by just uh, refreshing uh, us on. Uh, with uh, what you do, what your business does, Whipping Post does. Yeah, we are a leather goods company, manufacturer, design products. Started with products for musicians, but uh, lately has really expanded out to more general use items for men and women. So that's where we're at. Yeah, in fact, you've got a really, really cool leather guitar case that I that I'm one of these days I'm going to acquire. But I know that you're selling a lot of uh, uh, portfolio bags and duffel bags and uh, and wallets and things uh, as well. So, what? Let's start with. We're going to get to. We want to hear kind of the point. One of the main points of this call is really just to see. Okay, you came out to this course. Did you do anything with it? Did you make any progress? So, uh, but before we get into that, really, you want to kind of talk about what what drove you or attracted you to to want to come out and spend three days in San Francisco and go through one of these courses in person. You want to talk about kind of your motivation? Sure. Um, being a very small business and really wearing a lot of hats, um, handling finance, handling product design, handling marketing, uh, left me um, at times very uh, confused and disorganized. So I was hoping to solidify and put some processes into place that would streamline my workday a little better and um, help focus my attention. Um, in the areas where I really need to be working to grow the business. Yeah, and, and you know, it's, you're not unlike the millions and millions of businesses out there where, you know, somebody started a business because they know how to do something or they get an idea, they want to do something, and, they're, you know, they quickly come, uh, pretty pretty quickly come face to face with the fact that you've got to market that thing, and then, and in fact, you know, regardless of what your business makes, you're probably in the marketing business, um, yet for some people, it kind of feels like the idea of the week or the, the promotion of the week, and, and so I, I know one of the things of duct tape marketing, I mean, it's the, the promise, at least, of duct tape marketing is this idea of taking a very systematic approach uh, to marketing that says, hey, I'm going to do these 10 things, I'm going to do them consistently, I'm going to do them over and over again, and, and we'll, we'll build momentum that way. So you and I, I, I had the good fortune of speaking with you just a couple weeks ago, and you, and you actually said that uh, the year 2013 uh, was a really strong year for you. I, I'm not going to take any of the credit for that, <laughs> but, but I'd love to hear what uh, some of the things you're doing that uh, uh, maybe you got some ideas uh, from from our, our course uh, that we worked together. But I'd love to hear what's working for you, um, and then maybe we can talk about one or two of the specific things that that you think really came from the course itself. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, I'm an e-commerce business, so we don't have um, any retail locations or anything like that. So word of mouth um, online has has really been the lifeblood of the business. So reaching out as far as PR goes, uh, blogs, things like that, have really driven the traffic and driven sales. And um, along with that, uh, reaching out to existing customers and having them spread the word, um, which I could probably speak to a little more as far as related to um, the course, if that's helpful. So, so yeah, let's, so after you came, you know, the, the three days of the course, at least most people's response was, wow, that was a lot. <laughs> you know, I took a lot of notes, and now i got to go back and do some of that. What are a couple of the things that you've done, or, or there, maybe you sat there and said, hey, in the next 90 days, you know, my goal is to do X, um, and, and you did it, and it maybe is proving, uh, uh, generating some of the results you were after. You want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, and I think uh, something I took away that was really helpful was starting from um, a thought process of what would I have to do to 
make a customer want to talk about yeah. the products and spread that word, which is uh, kind of a, a mind shift. I think we're always thinking about the next customer, um, which isn't always the best uh, the best way to go about things, right? So um, with that, I've kind of revamped how I deal with existing customers as far as follow-up with email, responders, uh, tips, um, reaching out to people who have purchased multiple times with some freebies, um, redesigning packaging and inserts. So really thinking about it wasn't as the first thing I did was really looking towards the existing customer base and the people who were already purchasing to change that process to hope that they would be more pleased and in turn um, help spread that word. Yeah, that's really cool that you mentioned that because you, you actually came in doing, in my opinion, a very good job of generating leads, of getting some buzz about your products, you know, getting mm -hmm. bloggers to write about you that, that generated leads. Um, and, and so, you know, your next really logical step, and in fact, it's a, a logical step for most businesses, but everybody, the most businesses are still trying to figure out how do I get people to my door. Uh, but, but you really now have taken the next step, which says, hey, a great customer experience is a tremendous uh, lead generation uh, tactic as well so have you been able to, have you had enough time to kind of measure the results of those additional efforts on your part because it does take a little work yeah it's it's tougher to um, to measure to measure that uh, how good that's working but I can can say that we don't do really any paid acquisition at this point um, it's a very competitive uh, landscape out there as far as AdWords and, and just and to like be that. clear on that, so no Google AdWords, that kind of thing. Right, yeah. right. So depending on press and word of mouth is really all we do. And as far as revenue targets for 2013, we really totally surpassed those. Um, and just the feedback getting from customers is uh, is really positive. So I would say I can't tie a direct number to that, but I can certainly tell by the way things are growing um, that it's made an impact. It's awesome. So if, if somebody were to come to you and say, hey, I saw you on that creative live thing, Ryan, and, uh, besides the fact that you were you know, uh, dashing and sounded really brilliant, um, <laughs> what, uh, you know, what would you say to somebody if they said, you know, is that worth your time? Should I, you know, should I invest in something like that? And, and again, I'm, I'm obviously hoping you just uh, do a commercial for me. Right. Yeah, yeah. But, but really, what, what would you tell them thinking about this? Because it, it's also work, too. So, I mean, again, it's not the magic bullet. Uh, but, but what would you tell somebody that's thinking about uh, a course like this, uh, like duct tape marketing? I'd say it's totally worthwhile. Um, I think a lot of times as small business owners and entrepreneurs for reading different articles, for doing this, for bouncing back and forth between different strategies right. and what this does is really lay a foundation, uh, a workflow that you can put into place and uh, really solidify and feel good, comfortable about your marketing and outreach, and which in turn frees up a lot of time for you and to do the other things in your business that really yeah. help it grow. Yeah. Well, awesome. So, Ryan, thanks so much for, for taking the time today. Um, hopefully, you get back out there and create that next big hit product. Uh, right. um, and, and it was, all, as always, great chatting with you. Yeah. Good seeing you, John. All right, gentlemen. Thank you so much, Ryan and John, for taking the time um, to check in. Um, we'll let you go, Ryan, and okay. we'll move on to Renee at 3 o'clock Pacific. Thanks for you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.